Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find... Find... What is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I don't argue with plants. Give me what I want, now. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground and the new growth. That's a start. We'll bring it down yet.
Just a scratch. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers, and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his Geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. 
When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. The galaxy's a better place with that thing dead and gone. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. 
You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. We'll be the biggest human colony yet. Jong may be corrupt, but he certainly got us a great deal. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now Exogeny will pour the money in. We'll be able to rebuild and then some. Soon we'll have everything we need. We're going to be very busy. All traces of the Thorian will be erased in short order. Ferris will have a second chance thanks to you. Commander, glad to see you survived your encounter with the Thorian. All traces of the Thorian will... You won't recognize this place when we're done. You'd think Exogeny would be more interested in protecting their investment. Huh. I hope the new money doesn't spoil this place. I've never seen such a turnaround by a company. All of a sudden, it's like we're worth something. You sure get results. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. We've never had funding like this before. Looks like the colony will survive after all. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. We can rebuild this place. We're stronger than the company gives us credit for. I hope we can make this colony work. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. time I thought about speaking out, even the memory is painful. We can make this colony work. We just need to build it for ourselves. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Finally, we have hope again. It was in my head. Like getting slapped every time your eyes left the ground. I don't know if I want to stay, but I'm glad we have the choice. Thank you for everything you did. Thanks to you, Greta and I can start over. The Thorian controlled us with pain.
I never expected this much trouble. I guess that's what makes it a frontier world. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. Now that the alien influence is purged, we can get back to building a profitable colony. We'll build up our defenses and make sure Pharos stays in human hands. Pharos will survive, thanks to you. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. It was hell, you know. Any honest thought hurt, just like staring at the sun. You did a good thing for Pharos, but I'm getting out while I can. I've had enough of the colony life. I'm ready to go back to Earth. Things are simpler there. You were a Torfin, right? Glad you're on our side. This planet's not so bad, but it isn't under the grip of some hidden threat. It feels so good to be free again. We have another chance at making a home here. We'll try our best to make this colony work. I know we can do it. Pharos will be back in shape in no time, Commander. We'll make sure of it. I want to try and make this colony work. I hope we'll have the chance now. I think I'll stay, help reclaim the colony. It's a chance for a new beginning. I'm free, thank you. I'm so glad to get that plan out of my head. The only thing I can say for that plan is it made me forget how hungry I am. I prefer hunger to slavery, thank you very much. They said we'd never last on Pharaohs. We'll prove them wrong. I didn't think we'd get through this, but there's good times ahead. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. The Geth are gone. We've got water again. Everything's good. I'm free again. Thank you for everything. I forgot what it was like to have a thought of my own. Thank you for freeing us. The Thorian forced me to think what it wanted. I felt when you killed it. That thing got into my head pretty deep. It hurt so much. I'm glad we'll have another chance here. That's all Davin and I have ever wanted. Thank you for freeing us. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Make it fast. Time's a wasting. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... 
Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? You know it. That never gets old, does it? <laughs>